So it looks like international season is coming to a close, but there is never, ever, ever no football going on whatsoever because right now we are taking another look at some early door Champions League action, boys and girls. Let's get going. That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction video. This time, taking another look at the 2019-2020 Champions League. But this time, we're taking a look at the first qualifying round, second legs. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button. Keep your bang up to date with all things Champions League related, Baparoa's related. Woo! Football, we've got it all here under one roof. Now, before we take a look at match day two or sort of the second legs, we're going to take a look back at the opening matches within the Champions League. Um, and see how we got on and see how many predictions we got right. And, of course, the results. So, let's get cracking. Okay, folks, here we go. Let's kicking it all off. And a quick reminder that these are the results and predictions combined. And let's see how we got on last time out. Normal Kalju out of Estonia taking on Shikenja coming out of North Macedonia. That ended up as a 1-0 victory for the Macedonian outfit. Uh, I actually predicted a 2-0 win. So, not too shabby. Mimos Sadova uh, out of Lithuania taking on Red Star Belgrade, one of the powerhouses at this stage. That ended up as a surprising, just a 0-0 draw. I went big on this one. So, they got it all to do in the second leg uh, red star if they're gonna get themselves through to the next phase and at armina out of armenia uh, took on iak out of sweden and once again i got a bit of a banana skin here 2-1 victory in the end for the armenian outfit uh the swedish team iak got it all to do second leg as they take it away to armenia astana up against cfr Cluj, and again it just wasn't happening for me folks i called a 1-1 uh, draw in this one it ended up in favor of astana who come out of kosovo uh, Fenisvaros were next. Uh, they took on Ludo Gretz out of Bulgaria. That ended up as a 2-1 victory. I got that one bang on point, boys and girls. So finally, a bit of green to get going. Patazani, uh, Patazani, sorry, out of Albania. Coming up against Quadabag. That ended up as a 0-0 draw. And again, couldn't see it. I went with a 2-0 win for Quadabag. Next up, we have Slovan Bratislava coming up against Shudeshka Nidishnic, who coming out of Montenegro. That ended up as a 1-1 draw. And again, it's a bit of a surprising result uh, for Bratislava slipping up there. Sarajevo uh, coming out of Bosnia, taking on Celtic. That ended as a 3-1 victory for the Celtic. I should call it a 2-1 victory, so not too shabby indeed. Meanwhile, Sheriff Tiraspol coming out of Moldova, took on Sabotalo Tbilisi, coming out of Georgian. The Georgian outfits put down a 3-0 win here. I actually called it a 3-0 victory, but it went the other way. Uh, F91, do Lange took on Valenta out of Malta. That ended all square 2 2 as well. A lot of red knocking about. Actually, went with a 2 0 win for the Luxembourgers. Linfield took on Rosenberg, the Norwegian Giants, uh, and they took home a 2 1 victory in the end. So that second leg will be an uphill struggle. For the, for the Northern Irish team, Valour took on Marabor. That also uh, went in favour of Marabor, 3-0 in the end. I went with a 3-1 victory, so not too shabby indeed. Dundalk, though, took on Riga, and that ended all square. I went with a 2-1 victory for Dundalk, but unfortunately, no joy. They're going to have to make do it all again in the second leg. The New Saints took on Faranga Kelly. Uh, they are coming out of uh, some place. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I went with a 2-0 win for the New Saints. Unfortunately, it was a 2-2 draw. So we got them out right out of goals for the Welsh. But unfortunately, they are going to have a bit of a struggle to get through to the next stage. HJK took on HB Toroshavan. Uh, that ended up as a 3-0 victory for the finish outfit. And BAT Borisov took on Plas Glewoszowski out of Poland. Um, that ended all square. I just got the right amount of goals and just unfortunately did not distribute them correctly. So, as you can see, not the greatest start to my Champions League predictions campaign, but there are a lot of difficult teams out there. Um, and it is very hard, very hard to call at this stage, but I'm, I'm going brave. I'm going for it. So into the second legs we go, and it is basically flip-flop. Now, these games will be coming up thick and fast, taking place on the 16th and 17th of July. So, yeah, not much time left. So I'm going to kind of plough through these ones, give you my predictions, and also give you what I believe the aggregate score will be in the end. Um, so, Sekendra, uh, coming out of North Macedonia, taking on Nomu Kalju out of Estonia. Obviously, uh, Sekendra coming in with a 1-0 win at the early stage. Uh, I'm actually going to go with a 2-0 win at this time around to make it 3-0 in the end to go through to the next round. Red Star Belgrade up against Sadova again, coming into this with a 0-0. Need to get themselves back into the this big time and I do expect them to get through quite comfortably in the end with a 3-0 win. It's not it's very nervy after the first round, but they need to get going in the second one. AEK uh, out of Sweden taking on Arabat Armenia, who taking on a, a, an important victory. 
um, in the first leg. It's going to be difficult this time round for AEK, but I still believe they'll come on with a 2-1 win, which, according to me... Uh, I don't know what that does. What does that do? I mean, if there's a 2-1-2-1, two, one, two, one, it'll, it'll go to extra time and all that kind of business. Hopefully, ARK, in my eyes, I think they deserve to go through. Um, but, uh, yeah, it'll be all square, penalties and all that kind of good stuff. So, if I'm going to call it, I'm going to go ARK because of home advantage on the day. CIFR Cluj up against Astania. Obviously, coming into this 1-0 down, they need to turn it around. And I do expect them to do so uh, with a 2-0 win in Romania. Meanwhile, uh, Ludo Gretz, Razgrad, take on Fenish Varos. 2-1 um, going into the into the home leg for Fenish Varos. Uh, they find, they'll find it a bit a bit more difficult when they take on uh, the Bulgarian outfit um, in Bulgaria. I do see them Ludo Gretz picking up a 2 0 win in the end, and that will also push the uh, Bulgarian team through to the next round. Patazani, the quarterback up against Patazani. Quarterback coming into this with a 0 0 draw. I do expect them to take home uh, the valuable win, 2 1 in the end, to go through 2 1 on aggregate in the end. Shabazan Shnishnic up against Sloven Bratislava. Uh, difficult one, this one, 1 1 in the in the first leg. Um, it'll be 2 2 in the second leg, but those two away goals should be enough for uh, Bratislava to get through to the next stage. Celtic against Sarajevo seem to be cruising at the moment after a 3 1 home win, uh, away win. Uh, I expect them to score the same amount of goals, but take it easy a little bit. 3-0 uh, on the night, 6-1 on an aggregate for Celtic. Uh, Sada Patalo, Tbilisi, up against Sheriff Tiraspol. The surprise of the round for me this time out uh, with a 3-0 uh, away win. Obviously, they'll take him on again at home. So, I, I realistically see them taking him another win, but not as big. I don't think they'll put on uh, a barnstormer performance. So, unfortunately, Tiraspol will go out. Uh, Valenta up against F91, Dudelange. Uh, obviously, 2-2 in the first leg over in Luxembourg. I think it'll be a similar scoreline this time out in Malta. 2-1 in the end for Valenta and they'll go through to the next round. Rosenberg up against Linfield obviously Rosenberg dominating the first leg 2-0 at, uh, at Northern Ireland um this time out, I think they would go one better with a 3-0 victory and push themselves through with a 5-0 aggregate win. Maribor up against Valor, uh, obviously bringing it over back to uh, Slovenia. Is that, is that correct? Slovenia called it, called it. So, uh, yeah, bringing it back to Slovenia with a 3-0 win at Iceland. So, uh, I see them doubling up with a with a 3-0 victory this time at home. 6-0 on aggregate. Riga up against Dundalk. Obviously, the 0-0 in the first leg. Uh, fortunately, it's not going to be good enough for the Irish team. They will crash out here. 2-1. Uh, Riga will take over the victory. Fevrenikeli up against the New Saints. Uh, well, this one's a difficult one to call. 2-2 in the first leg. 0-0 this time round, I think. I think that would send that would send Ferrer Kelly through to the knockout stages with the away goals. I believe. I believe so. Uh, HP to Charvin up against HJK. Obviously, HJK coming into this with the with the uh, the home win. Um, I still think see them getting another victory again this time at their place. One 0 win though. Four 0 on aggregate. And Piast Glewicci out of Poland up against BAT Borussia. One of the big the bigger matches I think here. One one the first leg. This time away two one to the Polish outfit, and they will go through three two on aggregate. Uh, that's my friends. Is all I've got for you. Hopefully, you could uh, uh, read through the lines and my butcherings of these bad boy names. Uh, but anyway, before we go, I want to give you a bit of administration for you folks. I want to let you know that I'll be doing live predictions for the Premier League and the Championship. In, starting in the month of September, I'm going to have a bit of a staggered start here. I'll pre-record the first few, few matches, but ultimately I will be live doing those uh, in the month of September. I will also continue my Bundesliga, La Liga and Serie A predictions as it was last season. And also we will be continuing obviously the Europa and the Champions League. We'll be looking to do live uh, Champions League predictions once the group stages come around. So stand by for that one. If you want to become Patreons, boys and girls, I am on the lookout for Patreons. Uh, and I'm looking to add uh, more perks and privileges to Patreons starting this season. So get involved with me now and then get involved and let me, let me know whether or not I've got to make out and do this content. Basically, uh, the new Patreon or the new system or the new perks and privileges will offer you six more leagues, uh, Prediction League, two out of England, the, the League One and League Two, the top division out in Scotland, top division out in Portugal, top division out in Holland, and the top division out in France. So if you want those, you're going to have to put Patreons, boys and girls, so get involved with me there. And also, just let you know that I do occasionally go live on Twitch. I think my live sessions are done and dusted for the time being, and they will fire up again probably back end of August, uh, start September as well with uh, match day watch along for Blackburn Rovers and much much more but anyway uh, if you want links to those bad boys here they come 
boys and girls. And I also let you know that I do have a fantasy football uh, league kicking off Premier League wise uh, in the month of August. It's free to enter, free prizes. If you want to get in touch with me uh, and, and, and know the code for that, let me know. I'm going to be doing a video on that anyway early this week. So stand by for that puppy. Uh, but anyway, that is pretty much all I have for you. Yes, it is goodbye. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you're new, smash the subscribe. I hope to continue predicting the Champions League throughout the campaign right here from the qualifying stages all the way through to the final. So I look forward to doing that. Let me hear your, uh, hear your thoughts and opinions so far of the Champions League. I know it's very early and not a lot of eyes are on this right now. But let me give me your thoughts. If you're a Celtic fan, if you're AIK fan, Red Star, Belgrade fan, whatever it is, get in touch with me in the comment section down below. Until I see you all again very, very soon, I'm sure. Until then, thumbs up, subscribe. Chat for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.